a blending scene of excitement, anticipation, and drama. This has become a common place for bettors, watching football matches, monitoring the odds, and placing bets. System ready. The economy is hard. Betting only helps us with our daily earnings. No get business. That bet will be uh, my business. Uh, that bet will chop my, 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 my child, all of you, uh, and my wife, and my family. Ghana's betting industry has seen tremendous growth over the last decade. You can say betting companies are reticent to discussing their business and issues openly. But insiders say on a good day, about 100 million cities worth of bets can be staked. Betten is understatedly a huge, huge venture. So like with a lot of things, the government wants to cash in through taxation. Remember e-levy that was designed to tap into the value of mobile money? Now, Parliament has adopted two bills that seeks to derive revenue for government of huge interest in sports betting and general lottery. On March 31, Parliament passed three new tax amendment bills. Among them was government's introduction of a 10% tax on all bet earnings. In effect, whatever amount a better earns from a win, 10% is deducted as tax. Let's say you stick betway. And you win, let's say two thousand, then we'll give you the thousand eight hundred. That will be your your winnings. Either two, you were getting the full ten. The law does not consider losses, and I think that that's the little disadvantage there because somebody can stick several times before he will win some small amount of money. The reactions have been reflective of the divers' views on the matter. Many believe it is yet an additional burden on an already financially taxed population. And popular bet professional Enoch Hood couldn't agree less. Someone can lose more than 100,000 CDs without any compensation. No one would be like, uh, we took 10% the last time, so today just take 5% of what we took the last time, reinvest it and bet again if you get anything. If, if, if it's that way, it's fine. If government can fund anyone's account 5,000 CDs that, oh, bet, I'll take even 20%, I'll, I'll be even cool with 50%. Director of Communications of the MPP, Richard Ahiaba, has hailed the move as a step in the right direction in mitigating its effect on the youth. In a bid to defend the move, he said, quote, Betting is making the youth lazy. A 10% winning tax is another method to decrease the number of youth who gamble. Those engrossed in it disagree. Why should we stop betting? Are there jobs for us? They should create jobs. We the young boys, without jobs, we sought to this betting for our monies. I can't stop. I just don't know what will make me stop betting since I make profit out of it. But what is the stance of the leading opposition, the National Democratic Congress? Today we are complaining that this very gambling is destroying our youth. I've read a number of articles on this. I would have thought Government will come out with a policy to restrict gambling. Well, you need money to ban it. That is Minority Leader Casey Latuforting responding to a proposed tax imposition on bet earnings by the majority in 2021. Today, his words have been used against him, an act he describes as propaganda of the cheapest kind. The new tax proposals also affect betting companies who will be made to pay 20% tax on their revenue. Tax experts, however, say... The percentage is on the high side. Under the old law, we, they were all subjected to 25%, but it was based on their profitability. Now we are seeing that your gross take, how much people have placed the bet, minus the payments that you have made, the winnings, then you are subjected to you know 20% um, on it. I think it's, it could be quite high because there are operational expenses that you've not considered in there. But Enoch Hood believes the taxes should be deducted from the companies instead of gamblers who are already risking their monies. Sporty Bet pay their, their taxes to the government, but with any other bookie pays their taxes to the, to the government. So why tax a bookmaker? I'm just a bookmaker having my capital to bet on the various bookies, which on the average, eh, on the percentage, I lose more than 80% in a month. Often, governments have introduced taxes in an attempt to curb an unwanted practice. It seems in Ghana's case, 
This tax is designed to raise revenue. However, it seems unlikely it will stop those for whom this has become a regular activity. Judith Awuchitando, TV3 News, Accra.